Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and today we are going to look at Arnold's first biceps routine. When we think of Arnold Schwarzenegger, we instantly think of his massive chest and full and peaky biceps, and envision his epic training sessions at Gold's Gym during the golden era of bodybuilding. And though much is known about his competition routines, these high volume, high frequency routines were only followed during the last weeks prior to competition. In the past, I have presented a series detailing his 1966 pre-contest routines which he used to prepare for the 1966 Mr. Universe competition, but I haven't gotten into much detail about his initial routines which he used to blast his muscles into massive growth. To do so, I looked into some of the initial written works by Arnold, and these were written way before he wrote Arnold, The Education of a Bodybuilder. His first actual publications ever were these small booklets which featured him with the name of Arnold Strong. You will remember that he used the same name in his first movie appearance in Hercules in New York. The first publication he ever wrote about arm development was titled Massive Arms by Arnold Strong. Within we find out his first ever biceps routine, which consisted of only cheating barbell curls and Zotman curls. This routine was later confirmed by Arnold in an interview which appeared in issue 286 of Muscle Mag magazine from April 2006, where Arnold also describes his initial arm routine before he moved to the US. As Arnold states, quote, These are the only two exercises I did for my biceps. With them I sent my arms from 13 to 19 inches. End quote. Both of these exercises, namely the cheating barbell curl and the Zotman curl, were commonly used back then as a complete arm flexor workout because these exercises would engage and work all of the arm flexors, namely the biceps brachii and the brachialis, as well as the forearms. The cheating barbell curl, which was developed during the Silver Era, was performed mainly to work the mass of the biceps muscle. And as Arnold states in his Massive Arms booklet, he was not afraid to use heavy poundage. Of course, this did not mean that he would use ridiculous poundages like how he is seen here. This footage courtesy of Arnold the Early Years, which is available from gmvbodybuilding.com.au, shows Arnold during an exhibition in London performing cheat curls with 275 pounds for several repetitions, and I've previously done a video on that, so you can check that out. This was of course a strength feat as was common during the day for bodybuilders to do during exhibitions. During training however, it is likely that Arnold would use up to 200 pounds as can be seen here in these photos of Arnold where he is performing cheat curls with the help of Dave Draper and Frank Zane and working on a slow eccentric. This idea is similar to another silver era exercise known as the Zella Curl. Named after silver era bodybuilder and golden era photographer Adi Zella, who invented the movement. It is essentially a cheating curl performed with a dumbbell. And this movement was used extensively by Marvin Eder, who was friend and training partner of Adi Zella. The idea was to use a dumbbell heavier than normally used for dumbbell curls and using the non-exercising arm as an assisting arm bring the dumbbell up on the concentric and then slowly lower the weight on the eccentric to stimulate hypertrophy. Regardless of whether dumbbells or barbells were used, the idea was to overload the muscle for maximum hypertrophy and Arnold relied heavily on this principle to build the mass of the muscle in both the short and long head of the biceps brachii using the cheating barbell curl. The Zotman curl, however, is not commonly practiced relative to the cheating barbell curl, and that probably has to do with how old this exercise is. It was created by 19th century strongman George Zotman. To be honest, it is one of the best exercises you could ever do for your arms because it targets both the forearms and the upper arm flexors, but its execution is rather complicated and difficult to explain correctly. 
Of course, the iron guru Vince Gironda does an excellent demonstration here of the Zotman curl, which when you look at it carefully, as he curls the dumbbells, it is almost like he is curling the dumbbells in a figure 8 configuration, performing curls on the way up, supinated, and a reverse curl on the way down. The dumbbells essentially curl up in an alternated fashion with the first curling arm supinated on the concentric and then pronating on the eccentric as you would in a reverse curl. And as you begin to do the eccentric on the first curling arm, you curl the second arm supinated and continue. The supinating action allows you to work the arm flexes whilst the eccentric works both the forearms and brachialis. Brilliant. So Arnold's first mass routine, as he states in the 286 issue of Muscle Mag magazine, was very simple but effective. Five sets of 6 to 10 reps of each exercise was sufficient to blow his arms up over several years of training for mass, which totaled around 6 years. Of course, when we see photos of a young Arnold, we can see the improvement year by year in his arms. He stated, of course, that he grew an inch on his arms with each successive year of arms training. Arnold and others have stated that he started training at the age of 13, and by the time he was 15, his arms were already 15 inches. When he was 16, his arms were 16 inches. 17 when he was 17, and 18 inches when he was 18 years old, until he finally reached the 19 inch arm mark at the age of 19, and we can see that the bulk of his arm kept growing progressively with each year, up to the point where he entered the NABBA Mr. Universe competition with 19 inch arms, and well the rest is history. Arnold showed up with lots of massive muscular bulk but no cuts and was beaten by the late Chet Yorton. Nevertheless, he made an incredible impression on the muscle building world. We can actually see a bulky young Arnold Schwarzenegger flexing in this rare footage from early 1967, just months after the 1966 Mr. Universe, again courtesy of Wayne Galash from GMV Bodybuilding from his Arnold The Early Years DVD and the link to this download is given in the video description below. This young Arnold was far from refined as his physique would later become, and we can clearly see that although he possessed huge 19 inch arms by the time he hit the universe stage, he only later developed that brilliant bicep peak that we all got to see later on during the mid 1970s when Arnold was undoubtedly at his peak, pun intended. Having said that, I think that the combination of both the cheating curl and Zotman curl would be a great routine for arms, especially if you were to, let's say, after several sets of strict barbell curls, to sensibly overload the cheating curl for one or two last sets and only cheat on the last two reps, and then perform Zotman curls with correct and strict fashion to really work the forearms and brachialis and finish off the biceps. I think that would make a great routine for Mass, and if it worked for Arnold and helped him build his arms to 19 inches, then I'm sure it can work and help us add Mass to our arms as well. Arnold would of course later arrive in the US and train under Vince Gironda who would begin to refine this Mass monster from Austria, and although I have briefly covered this topic in the past, I want to go through the specific exercises that Arnold would learn from Larry Scott in my next video on Arnold, so stay tuned for that. So I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video on Arnold's first biceps routine. If you have, please give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and leave me your comments. What do you think about Arnold's first biceps routine? What's your experience with the cheating curl? What about the Zotman curl? Is that something you practice or would be willing to incorporate into your routine? Let me know in the comment section. Anyway, that's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying, bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning Arnold's original bodybuilding training and nutrition principles, please visit my website for a full collection of booklets, including his arms and chest training programs, available at www.goldenerabookworm.com. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm.
Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout.